Welcome traders to another Tick Mill Earnings Report preview with me, Patrick Munley. Before we jump into today's report, it's important as always that we adhere to the risk disclaimer. The material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information and opinions expressed by me in this recording are solely mine and they're not indicative or representative of those held by Tick Mill UK or Tick Mill Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report. Today we're looking at Walmart. Walmart are expected to announce earnings before the New York Open today. Uh, looking for an earnings per share of $1.46 on revenue of $138.12 billion. It is noteworthy that that, uh, that revenue number would represent a 0.14% uh, drop from the prior year's uh, like-for-like quarter. Uh, looking at the full year, consensus estimates suggest analysts are expecting earnings of $6.77 per share on revenue of $589.42 billion. These totals would mark changes of plus 4.8% and 2.91% respectively uh, from last year. Investors might also notice recent changes to analyst estimates for Walmart. Uh, recent revisions tend to reflect the latest near-term uh, business trends. As a result, uh, you can interpret positive estimate revisions as a good sign for the company's business outlook. However, within the past 30 days, uh, the consensus EPS projections for Walmart has remained stagnant. Valuation is also important, so investors should note that Walmart has a forward uh, PE ratio of 22.1 at the moment. The valuation marks a premium compared to its industry average of forward PE of 11.38. Investors should also note that Walmart has a price to earnings uh, growth ratio of 4.02 right now. This popular metric is similar to the widely known PE ratio, with the difference being that the price to earnings growth uh, ratio ta also takes into account the company's expected earnings growth. Retail supermarket industry currently has a PEG ratio of 1.05. Let's jump in and take a look at some of the statistical trading patterns that we can note from uh, from uh, prior releases. Uh, shares have tended to move lower in the immediate aftermath of earnings seven out of the 12 previous reports. On average, the stock has moved up 0.1% in the first day of trading after the company reported earnings. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Walmart is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 0.6%. On average, stock has moved lower by 1.2% one week after earnings. From a options perspective and implied volatility, uh, options traders pricing in a 4.6% move on earnings. The stock has averaged a 2.8% move in recent quarters. From a flow and sentiment perspective, um, on May the 11th, there was some noticeable, uh, notable selling of uh, 1,779 contracts of the 142 put expiring this Friday. Options order flow sentiment in general has been a bit more bullish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings release has 58% expecting an earnings beat. Uh, Walmart shares have tended to drift uh, by about 7.4% post the earnings announcement. Uh, using the last 12 quarters days, the average drift between earnings announcements has been about 3.1%. Let's uh, let's jump into the chart then and see if we can identify uh, some near-term trading opportunities in the uh, in the stock here. If we can pull the chart up, bear with me one second. Here we go. So, uh, in terms of the the setup here. Uh, we have been obviously in line with the broad market, seeing a, a move to the downside in this descending trend channel. However, we did get a very bullish uh, reversal candle yesterday. So any move through the uh, the 149.80s here should see price move up into the 154, 155 area. From there, I'd be watching for bearish reversal patterns. My preferred strategy here is looking for another leg to the downside. Uh, once we correct this initial pullback. Um, the area I'm really paying attention to is this 140 area. We've got a high volume load there on the daily and the weekly charts. We've also got um, the pivot there, the yearly pivot coming in 141. So any pullback into this 140, 141 area is where I'll be watching for bullish reversal patterns as an opportunity to uh, build a long position in Walmart and certainly then thinking about the move up into uh, monthly projected range resistance at the 158 handle as the next upside objective 
in, uh, in this stock. However, any close through the 139 will be a bearish development. And then I've been looking for a move down to test uh, 132 as the next downside objective. Through there, we look for this low volume node on the weekly chart at 127. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.